Hey guys, this is Mike. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my Cartec combo spindles and my Jamar disc brake kits that I have that I'm putting on my buggy. <clears throat> I'm not doing this telling you that I've raced with these parts and I can back these parts up 100%. However, I did a lot of research before I decided to go with these parts and uh, <clears throat> before I permanently installed them on the buggy. I want to give you a little bit more information on them uh, specifically so that if there's somebody out there like me who was having a little bit of trouble getting information on them this will give you a little bit more. So this is the Cartec combo spindle. It's a real nice unit. They sell this spindle. This is for A-arm suspension. They sell this spindle in a couple of different flavors. They have this one which is the combo spindle. I think they sell one which they call the King Kong, which has a little bit different snout on it, and then they sell one with the two-inch snout on it. I decided to go with the, the combo spindle. For comparison, this is a uh, Volkswagen link pin spindle. So the spindles themselves are different. Um, you, they're, they're not interchangeable with the bearings and whatnot. The combo spindle is beefier, obviously, because it's stronger. And then to go with that, <coughs> I got the Jamar disc brake kit. Um, I was actually looking originally at the CNC. The CNC seems like a nice, a nice model, but when I go, went to go order it, the company that I ordered them from really suggested the Jamar, and the Jamar was a couple hundred dollars cheaper. I haven't run them yet, but workmanship wise, they seem really nice, really nice. So I'm going to show you one modification that I had to make and then just kind of bolt it together so you can see how everything fits together. So first thing, we got the spindle and we've got the caliper bracket. The caliper bracket bolts onto the spindle with 3 8 by 24 bolts. I did have to, of course I I smoothed everything out with a flapper wheel on a grinder just because when you get the spindle the edges are a little bit rough. Same thing with the uh, caliper bracket, the edges are a little bit rough. I did have to drill these two holes out a little bit, a teeny tiny bit, but if I, before I drilled them out I couldn't get all three of these bolts to start. It was a little tiny bit of a clearance problem. So I smoothed everything up and drilled the two holes on this out a little bit. Make sure when you mount this the ears point away from where your uh, rotor is going to go. It's still a snug fit but I didn't want to drill it out too much because I didn't want to make it sloppy because it does hold your calipers on. Now one thing that I had to do, and I'll show you that in a separate clip, <clears throat> is once when I bolted this together for the first time, these tabs were a little bit too long and they made it so the uh, the caliper was a little bit off-center on the rotor uh, well it was actually so much off-center that it didn't fit so I had to determine how much to mill them down and take them to the mill and shave them down but I've got a, a separate video clip for that which I'll show you and I already did that so this should bolt right together so I've got the caliper bracket bolted onto the combo spindle I've got the inner bearing the bearings came with Okay, so that's the the rotor on there, inner bearing, outer bearing. They're not too too difficult to get on there. The uh, the outer nut here with a Allen bolt in there to lock it in place. This is the passenger side, so it's got right hand thread. The driver side has left hand thread. Spin that on. 
to get hand tight. Um, the lug nuts did not come with the rotors, just so you know. So at this point, everything fits on here real nice. It's five lug, obviously. Very, very strong, feels nice and tight. Now we come over here. We've got the calipers, the Jamar calipers. They're, uh, workmanship-wise, they're really nice. Really, really smooth. They come with the pads in there. They're small pads. Um, we'll see how well they stop the tires when the bug is up, actually up and running, but that remains to be seen. Um, to make this a left or a right caliper, you just change the bleeder from the top to the bottom. So you can swap sides. Just spread the pads a little bit. And that's it. Uh, I'm tempted to say that they bolt right on, but they don't because I did have to machine the caliper bracket down a little bit. I don't think that's necessarily <coughs> a strike against Jamar because they don't necessarily know what spindle you're going to be bolting these up to. They, they're designed for the, uh, the combo snout, but who's to say if you're going to make your own spindle or if you're going to buy the Kartec spindle or if you're going to buy somebody else's spindle. So the fact that I had to machine that a little bit, I don't think that's a strike against Jamar. I think they did a pretty good job trying to assume what everybody's going to be mounting this to. All in all, uh, I think it's really nice. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it seems strong. I've, the other one is already bolted on the driver's side and I've had the tire mounted on it. And it's, it's really solid. So... That is the Jamar disc brake. Um, actually, I'll put the I'll put the model number in the video along with the model number of the the Kartec combo spindle. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, looking at this end view, I've got the Jamar hub on the Kartec spindle here. This is the bracket for the caliper, and as you can see, if I if I put the caliper over the rotor, it doesn't fit. Right in here, the this part on the caliper bracket sticks out and it's sticking out these calipers are set to 0.2 inches and that's about exactly how much it's sticking out so what I need to do is I need to mill 0.2 or 200 thousandths of an inch off of here to bring a little in a little bit so that I can bring the caliper in so I'm going to take this all apart, take this bracket over to the mill and shave off 200 thousandths of an inch, and then we'll try it again.